Winthrop University's Rutledge building has been known for its struggle to keep consistent and cool classrooms, but this semester students have faced a bigger challenge. The building's HVAC system went out over the summer and the university was unable to repair it before the semester started. Temperatures reached into the high 90s, leaving students in uncomfortable learning conditions. The heat has actually made me physically ill, where I've had to leave class, go home, because I could not stay. Winthrop's Associate Vice President of Facilities, James Griggs, said the HVAC system is extremely unique and the cost of replacing it is more than Winthrop can currently afford. But it's never our intention to impact students. Um, it's just we usually try and find a way to, to mitigate that situation. Sometimes we're successful, sometimes we're not as successful as we want to be. Many professors have resulted to moving classrooms, leaving Rutledge Building relatively empty. However, Rutledge is not the only building on Winthrop's campus that suffers from a lack of air conditioning. Johnson Hall continues to struggle to keep students cool. So we're just kind of at the mercy of whatever it feels like outside. So nights, especially upstairs, it gets really cool really fast, but it also gets really hot really fast. The university is seeking state funding this year, and a technician has gotten airflow in some areas of Rutledge building, but no immediate solution has been reached. For the Palmetto Report, I'm Carson Byerly.